I play a ton of Undertale and Deltarune mods on my channel, and I always get comments asking how to install them, so I thought I'd make a quick tutorial for you guys. It's actually a lot easier than you might think, and it doesn't take long at all. I know people like when tutorials are straight to the point, so all I ask is that if you find the video helpful, then subscribing is greatly appreciated. But starting off, how do you even find mods for Undertale and Deltarune? Well, Game Banana and Game Jolt are the two most common places for these mods, but I recommend looking on Game Banana since Game Jolt has more fan games than mods. And if you want to find mods from some of my videos, like the Gaster Blaster Weapon mod for example, you can also find that in the video's description or on Game Banana most of the time as well. So let's get into how you actually install these mods. Before you do anything, you're going to want to locate the folder for the game you want to mod, and it should have a data.win file inside of there. The file location may differ depending on where you put it on your computer, but if you're using Steam then you can just right click the game, hover over Manage, and click on Browse Local Files to instantly pull up this folder, and this works for both games as well. I personally use the Steam version and do it this way, but if you're really lost on where this folder is then I suggest searching for Deltarune or Undertale in your file explorer search bar to find it. Now you've found this folder though, we can move on to the next step. Luckily, both Undertale and Deltarune are modded in the exact same way, it just depends on the type of file that the mod comes in. Mods can come in one of two ways, a simple data.win file or an xdelta file, so let's start with explaining how to install data.win files. For example, this mod for Deltarune by my friend Acoustic Jam that lowers your HP every fight is just a data.win file and nothing else. This is a very simple install, as you just replace the data.win file that's already in your Deltarune folder with the one from the mod. You can simply drag and drop the mod data.win file into the Deltarune folder, click replace files, and you're done. As you can see here, my HP has decreased after the first fight and the mod is working. This same process with data.win files works in the exact same way for Undertale as well. Just replace the data.win file in the Undertale folder with the mod one and you're good to go. Now, let's talk about how to install mods that come in the form of xdelta files. For these mods, you will need a program called Delta Patcher, which you can find on romhacking.net. I'll also leave a link to it in the description as well. Now you have it installed, find a mod you'd like to use. For this example, I'll use the Gaster Blaster Weapon mod for Undertale that comes in the form of an xdelta file. This mod also comes with the Delta Patcher if you couldn't find it before, but if you already have it installed, then just ignore this. Now that you have the xdelta file in the delta patcher, run the delta patcher program and get to this screen. It should ask you for two files, an original file and an xdelta patch. For the original file, click on the folder icon, find the data.win file for Undertale, and then select it. And for the xdelta patch, click on the bottom folder icon, navigate to the xdelta file for the mod you just downloaded, and then select it. After that, just hit apply patch and the mod should be installed. As you can see, after following these steps, the Gaster Blaster mod is working just fine. Again, this same procedure works the exact same way with Deltarune mods that come in xdelta file types as well. Just follow the same steps, but use the data.win file in your Deltarune folder instead of your Undertale one, and you should be fine. And that's how you mod Undertale and Deltarune, so thanks for watching. Once again, if you found the tutorial useful, then subscribing helps me out a lot, but either way, I hope you have a great day.